And hello to both of you. Yeah, we are talking about a path for cyclists and for pedestrians that is designed to keep them away from traffic. So the alternate route for that path is what you see back here with all these cars and so forth. What is wrong with this picture? That's the question that activists and cyclists and pedestrians are asking now. On bike and on foot, people regularly pass by, and you're seeing this at one of the quietest times of the day on a Monday, possibly the least busy day, and it's still busy. This is the northern end of the Hudson River Greenway, and as the signs posted along the route indicate, it's about to close for months. When we read this sign, we're like, really? Really? I mean, they've got to be kidding. Cyclist David Rubio is one of many criticizing the alternate route that the city is recommending while the bike and walking path is shut down. It may close any day now for at least four months to repair damage like this that's also left the stone wall next to the pathway structurally at risk. But as for the alternate route prescribed by the city... Having to go down Broadway through that traffic, especially when you get close to the GW Bridge, is just a nightmare for bikers. This is the alternate route on the map. This is it in real time. Community groups have for weeks been telling the city that it's unsafe. This is it. Do you want to get out here and bike with your kids? That's Allegra Legrand, one of many activists uh, from a variety of groups in Upper Manhattan that have gone to the city and said, hey, this is not a safe alternative. What they want is for a lane of the West Side Highway to be designated a biking and walking path while the main biking and walking path is being renovated. Can they do it? That's still very much an open question, despite the fact that they have the community board on board. We'll hear more about that and hopefully have a response from the Parks Department coming up on the PIX11 News at 5 o'clock. Right now, reporting live from Washington Heights, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.